What's poppin' everybody? My name is Tyrese and welcome to a Sonic fan game. So we're playing Sonic Adventure 3 right now. I'm kind of just trying to make time until somebody starts streaming their Microsoft conference for E3. So I have a lot of time right now and I was like, damn, I kind of want to play some more games and record because the camera quality is actually really good right now. Well, it was. It was like 60 frames now. It's kind of just like, eh. But either way, I feel like now's a good time to record because I'm like already in the mood. So, with that said, I've had this on my desktop for a while, this game, and I've never really played it. So, let's play it, since this is a Sonic channel, and, you know, why not? And it's not like it's, I'm starting a new Let's Play, because this fan game is still in development. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that water, dude. This game looks amazing. Its controls are kind of clunky, but... It's pretty good looking. Press X or the square button while- well, okay. So apparently you can turn supersonic if you have 50 rings. You just need to jump in the air and collect them. Or jump in the air and then you should do it. We have a boost function in this game. The collision detection is kinda like clunky, but it's pretty good for a fan game for the most part. And it looks really look at that waterfall in the background! That shit looks beautiful! It looks so nice. The next gen Sonic dude. This is what Sonic Forces should have looked like. In all honesty. Now I don't know how to activate the supersonic feature. I've literally pressed like every button I have on the controller and none of it's worked. So I'm assuming I just don't have that feature. Unless nah, I don't I, I don't have that feature, I guess. I did play a little bit of, a little bit of this off camera, but oh my Look at this area, dude! Oh, and look at Sonic! If you if you got a strong enough computer, this looks amazing. Sonic looks fucking gorgeous. This model is amazing. The homing tag is good for the most part. Um, it can be a little bit wonky sometimes. Oh, I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna make that. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh shit, that nigga got bodied. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cool, dude. While I was playing it off camera, this is where I had some, yeah, some collision detection problems. This isn't properly programmed. I mean, not that I can program it any better, but like, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that, so... What? I heard enemies. Oh, I didn't lose all my rings. So that's a feature in this. I still can't turn super though. I don't know how to do that. Oh! You can swim! Or rather, you just don't die. I was like, what? Sonic's in water? Since when? This area is so beautiful. The fucking grass looks good. Sonic's model looks gorgeous. The texture on his fucking spines, dude. Oh. Oh my god, look at it. It looks so nice, and I'm not even running it on the best quality. I'm just running it on good. There's like beautiful, fantastic, and then there's an ultra setting after this. I can't imagine what it must look like. And I think this is running in 60 frames. It looks really nice. I kind of want to just make it to the end, and that'll pretty much be it for this video. Yeah. 
I don't even feel like I really need the boost. But... Using it... I don't know, I feel like it makes me too fast. I actually like this speed, just like running around like that. Look at the fucking reflection on this man's shoes! It looks so nice! What the fuck, dude? Oh my god! It's a shame that touch damage is a thing, though, in this. I feel like I can slightly tell that the frames for his run is repeated. Just by the way his um, spines move. Oh my! I'm on the wall! Oh my, the reflection on this water? It was reflecting part of the stage before. This is fucking beautiful. Oh, you can't boost in midair though. They don't let you do that. I'm pretty sure that's the key you're supposed to use for... Turning it supersonic. But... And it really doesn't make you that much faster. I think it just makes you invisible. Invincible. Invisible. He's kind of herky jerk at the beginning, but I've gotten used to his controls. It's just the way he like collides with some like, objects in this stage is a little bit awkward, and it kind of upsets the platform. The stop was delayed by like a good second. And then there's an invisible air boost here that you're just supposed to know, I guess. Okay, this is where I left off. I didn't make it past this part. And I still don't know how to transform the super. A shield. A shield looks cool in this. I like this effect. I heard a... Oh. What? Oh wow, he turns really wide in this. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to do something? It's stuck in this. There's an enemy behind there. What the? I'm so confused at what's happening right now. And I'm stuck behind this wall. It won't let me onto the foreground anymore. It's so buggy. What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I think you have to experience it for yourself. You won't be able to tell by YouTube. YouTube will compress the shit out of this video and it won't look nearly as good. Oh, it did it this time. Sweet. Did I just keep going? Oh, I lost the shield. I took damage. I th Do they want me to actually, like, press it in time? Interesting. Do I have to pass the beats? About to say he's running pretty slow. I don't know what's happening.
That'd be so cool if he like came in like rolling. Like if he like rolled in a ball while he was landing and then he did like a dramatic pose. When did he where did did he do that in the Unleash opening cinematic? I like that it's the big ring from Heroes. Or maybe not. Maybe that's not Heroes. I think that's Unleashed. Is there a rank system in this? Oh! Oh! Got the best rank, right? I says the S rank. That's strange. Why is Orbot going to the Emerald Temple? There's more stuff? What? I thought that was it! I didn't know there was more! This remix of Green Hill, dude! And I can use elemental shields. I can choose to either use a double jump or to use my dash, but I can't do both. Oh, if I touch the water, I'll lose the shield. However, if I bounce off an enemy, then I can do both. So I do that, and then I can double jump, but I can't only attack my afterwards. I, this is sound. Oh, this sounds so serene. Man. Da, 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 da. And so whimsical. Is there anything in here? Switch? I get it. What? I want to use the light ring dash. Oh. Looks like it's wow. as jank as ever. These glittering mushrooms look pretty cool. Tails will love it. There's voice acting in this! I've never seen gameplay of this! What the fuck? I'm almost sure I can burn these plants to see what's hidden behind. Burn these plants? Why are we burning things? Fire seals over there. What? Oh. <laughs> this is stormy. Okay, we got a checkpoint. Uh, I have to do all this again, though. flying every time oh okay I'm done I don't want to play anymore <laughs> it's still following him look at the sheen oh my this game is gorgeous but it's very janky I can't play it dude it's too janky for me I'm done thank you guys for watching make sure to check out my other videos I'm doing a Sonic Heroes let's play right now so if you like that stuff you can go check that out I also stream so if you want to check out my twitch in the description below go ahead and do that and then I have a Twitter too so if you want to follow me see some of the other shit I'm doing or liking or retweeting go ahead and do that too
But with that said, I am done. So thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.